everyone, my name is Amberly Bozik and I'm an undergraduate student obtaining my degree in Park Resource Management and I'm also obtaining a certificate in sustainability here at Slippery Rock University. Today in my video, I will be teaching you how to make DIY natural dog treats that are healthier and a great option for those looking to cut unnecessary waste in their home and in their kitchen. So let's get started. For this recipe, you will need carrots, zucchini, baby spinach, peanut butter, pumpkin puree, old-fashioned rolled oats, whole wheat flour, and two large eggs. Bonus points if you get those eggs from your own backyard. For tools, you'll need mixing bowls, parchment paper, or a silicone baking sheet, a cutting board, a knife, a mixing spoon, a grater, and a cookie cutter. Once you have all your tools and all your ingredients, you can preheat the oven to 350. Once your oven is preheated, you can get your ingredients together. Here I have one cup of pumpkin puree, one fourth cup of peanut butter. In this bowl, I have three cups of the wheat flour and one half cup of the oats, and I ground them up for a finer texture. In this bowl, I have my veggies. I grated up two carrots and two zucchini, and I have one cup of spinach that I'm going to blend for a finer texture as well. And then I have both of my eggs ready to go. I now it's time to combine all of your ingredients into one bowl and get mixing. Don't forget to set aside all of your food scraps to put into your compost later. Once your ingredients are all mixed up, your dough should be the consistency of just any other cookie dough. You can spread some flour onto a tabletop, grab your favorite cookie cutter, and have your baking tray lined with parchment paper ready to go. Once you have all of your cookies cut out into a desired shape, make sure you get them all onto a baking sheet and cook for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. After they're done baking, make sure you let them sit before your dog enjoys. Once your cookies are done in the oven, you can let them sit and cool. They should look something like this and you can see all the good ingredients inside there. Lots of spinach, you can see the carrot. They look pretty good. And it looks like our taste testers are here to try them out. This is Henry and Apache. It looks like they're really excited. They seem like a hit. Once Since I mentioned it earlier, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about composting. interested in starting your own compost, all you need is a bucket or any large bin with a resealable lid. If you don't have the resources to build a composting area outside, you can throw it directly into your garden where it will disintegrate and turn into rich nutrient soil. By making your own dog treats, you can really cut the amount of plastic and cardboard waste you generate in your home, while also ensuring that your dog is getting the quality ingredients they deserve without breaking the bank. Taking care of our pets is just as important as taking care of ourselves and the planet when incorporating sustainability into our lifestyle. My favorite part of making this recipe is that any leftover ingredients can be composted or reused in a recipe that I can then eat myself. Whether or not you have dogs in your home, I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and I hope you were able to learn something from it too.